Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What I wanted to do today is take these dirty floor mats and I'm gonna show you a trick. It's not a video or a tutorial necessarily about how to clean floor mats. It's a tutorial more about how to make your life easier in keeping your floor mats clean. These are the basic steps. You can watch many videos and I walk you through the basic steps. So it's pre-vacuuming, shampooing with light repeated applications. You mop up the dirt, it's that simple. But what I wanna illustrate is that when you pre-vacuum, you don't just pre-vacuum. You break loose the dry debris, you break loose the dirt and the fiber so that you can vacuum up as much of the dry dirt prior to introducing in your form of all-purpose cleaner, car upholstery shampoo, whatever you have decided to use, you want to remove as much of that loose dirt as possible. So I'm gonna do that now before we get moving forward. Now it's been pre-vacuumed. Now you take your choice in carpet, upholstery, shampoo, whatever it is called, and you go in with light applications. So I want to make sure I've got enough cleaner, but I don't, I don't want to oversaturate it. Now I come in, I scrub it vigorously. Take my microfiber cloth. Why microfiber? because it's very absorbent and it does not leave lint. I mop it up. Going for another repeat application because Vegas was really, really dirty and this is where this dirt came from. I come back in and I scrub once again. I'm paying special attention to the uh, piping or the trim around it. It is a different material, and sometimes that requires some nuancing or finessing in order for complete cleanliness or complete cleaning. I pick a new section of my microfiber cloth, come back in, mop it up, flip the cloth over. I'm often asked, when do you Know when to stop, Darren. Well, the question is, is only you can decide that. When you have desired results, that's the time you get to stop. But if you wanna keep going at it, you can. Just know it's a porous material. I don't care what kind of machine you're gonna use. You're never gonna get truly 100% of everything. What I'm really going for is to clean my floor mat and to make it visually look perfect. And the trick to that is the application of a fabric protector each and every time. So right there, that's on a car that's got 70,000 miles on it. This is where I take my fabric protector, read the directions. This one does not clarify whether you use it on dry or damp material. Therefore, I'm going to default to it doesn't matter. And experience, since I've been using this for years, I know that it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put an application on. I'm just gonna have, make sure it's thoroughly covered without oversaturation. Now, if you're trying to do this on the inside, you do simply mop up the dry or the non-porous materials very quickly. And it's a no-brainer. And this, I promise you, will make your life easier and allow your floor mats to stay looking brand new for as long as you're willing to do exactly what I showed you today. So with that said, pick your choice in a fabric um, protector. You can always check the links below. It'll take you to my website and you can get this. Uh, for your very own use yourself.
and help support the efforts of my website. With that said, we'll see you on the very next video.